Attention, if you are looking to get into this industry, this business as a professional videographer, professional photographer, editor, animator, graphic designer, shirt designer, your family won't support you. It's not that they're haters, but there's something that you need to know so that this hard pill to swallow becomes a lot easier to deal with. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? My name is Ty Turner and if this is your first time on this channel, hit that subscribe button. But this channel is designed for content creators like yourself who want to turn their passion into profit. If you want to learn how to remove stomachs and Photoshop, get rid of face wrinkles and all that great stuff, this ain't the channel for you. But if you want to learn how to turn your passion into profit, this is the channel that you need to be subscribed to. Today I want to talk about family life when it comes to being in this industry or really being an entrepreneur period, and something that you have to understand. Because I see so many people share their business with their family on Facebook and they scream and cry and kick when their family does not share or so-called support their business. What you have to understand is they are not your ideal client. They may not or won't need your service. That's not a problem. That's fine. The expectation or the issue with the expectation comes from you, not them. They haven't been paying for photographers for years, so why would they start now? Just because you're doing it. People usually live paycheck to paycheck or times are tough and they can't just donate to a cause. And if they don't need your service and you're expecting them to buy from you, you're asking for a donation. So instead of working with your family on trying to find ways for them to support you, the only support you should be asking is that they mention your brand if they hear from anybody who may need your service. That's it. I don't expect my family to come by for me. I don't expect them to share everything I put out. I don't expect them to have legitimate opinions about my business. And even if they had opinions, you need to stop taking their opinions. They are not your target audience. The only opinion that should matter to you and your brand is the opinion of those who are looking to spend money with you. Example, if I put out a course on how to get new clients, I don't care what my grandma thinks about that course, even though I love my grandma to death, I don't care what she thinks about the course because she will never fork over the money to buy the course because it's not her industry. It's not what she do. Her opinion is not backed up with enough experience and knowledge to be valuable for me. Often you'll get family members that want to help. They want to give an opinion. They got something to say. You have to not take their opinion because it's not valuable. It's loving and they may have the best interest in heart and they may really want to help you, but because they're they're not your target audience or they've never done this specific thing before, their opinion will not help you. You may be able to take 10%, 2%, 1% of what they say and apply it, but their opinion is not the end all be all. Go and work with people who are your target audience. That's why in a lot of my courses, I tell you to go shoot for free because you'll get a chance to work with your target audience to know what matters and what don't. That's why I tell you, you have to get some skin in the game to improve, to be better because there are parts of your sales process or your product that may suck that your family will never come across. They may never know what it's like to have to deal with your website and fill out the information. They may never know what it's like to have to take what's in their head based off information they were given from their boss or from the company and turn it into content. They don't understand that world. You do. So you have to spend a lot of time with people who really need your services to really improve it and not people who are willing to give input because they love you. That's not the input that helps us get better, but often that's the input that we seek a lot. And we're discouraged and hurt when our spouses and our cousins and our families don't support our passion and our business. Often I see people who got music and they like, hey man, listen to my music. Well, that may not be my type of music. I may not be into gospel trap rap right now. I may want to listen to 
you know, Beethoven or something. That may not be my music. You need to get it in front of your people who are like-minded, who want to listen to your music, and they can give you an opinion that will help you. My opinion don't help you. A few other things that I do with family members who are eager to help. I am a corporate content creator. A lot of my family work in corporate America. Who in your office can I contact to offer my services? Who in your office can I add to my email list? Who in your office makes the decisions on bringing in headshot photographers and training videos? Just give me that person. I can cold email them and I can work my magic through them simply by saying, hey, such and such referred me to you. Do you got a minute to speak? I know you're in charge of headshot. That will allow me to do my thing, but I don't need my family members buying from me. I don't need them sharing my information. Some people say, oh, it may help, blah, blah, blah. I can say 1% of my business ever came from family members sharing something on their page. Usually they'll share it with people they know who think they know you from knowing somebody and they're going to lowball the hell out of you. They're gonna come in and try to offer you pennies on a dollar because you know such and such who knows such and such and they told me to come holla at you because you got the hookup. No, I'm not hookup guy. I'm expensive, get it done right, Lexus, Mercedes Benz of this junk. I'm not Mr. Hookup guy. I'm not picture man. I'm not booty camera man. I'm not Mr. Music Video for $20 guy. I'm not that guy. I am the expensive. I have a budget. We want it done right the first time content creator. And you may not be ready for that because if you were, you would have been looking on Google for companies that offer that and not the hookup from homeboy over here. It's a huge difference in how you position your brand to make sure that you get the ideal client. And I can almost guarantee you the guys with deep pockets, they not hollering at you through a hookup that they heard from homeboy over here. They're finding you, they're looking for you, they're ready to make a decision and purchase service. And they are online searching on Google for companies in my area that offer this service. They're not hollering at their homeboys on who can shoot a music video. Because trust me, like I said, when they do, there's a hidden word that says for cheap. Hey, bro, you know somebody shoot a music video for cheap? Like, I hate when I see posts on Facebook about, hey, I'm looking for a wedding videographer. That's funny. Google has a million of them. You're looking for a wedding videographer that's cheap. That's what you need to post. That's what you need to say. That's what you need to acknowledge. And though they won't come forward and tell your homeboy that, your cousin that, your auntie that, that's what they're looking for. They think that because I know them or have a direct line to them, you're gonna give me some sort of special discount. You're cheap. So be careful when it comes to family and their opinions, their referrals. They're not your target audience. I love you for supporting what I do. High five. That shirt that you're asking for with my logo costs 30 bucks, auntie. I don't have 30 bucks just for you to walk around in a shirt that's not gonna give me no advertisement. I'm sorry. However, if you wanna buy one, you're more than welcome to buy one, but I'm not gonna just hand out free shirts. It's not gonna work that way. So you have to make sure that you understand where family stands with your business and that your expectations are not wrapped around the idea that they need to come and invest all of this time and effort in helping you grow because they could be hurting you from growing by presenting the wrong type of client, the wrong type of information, the wrong type of support, and you'll be wondering why I'm not blowing up. A lot of it has to do with your ability to market. Everybody wanna do word of mouth off the get go. Word of mouth only works after you've marketed and you got a group of clientele that you brought in who paid top dollar, who found you on Google, who found your business because they were out looking and they had a budget and they refer you. When broke people refer your business, they're gonna just refer it to more broke people. That didn't help me at all. That's not the word of mouth I want. I want word of mouth from Fortune 500 companies. And there's been times I've worked for companies that did great, that company got bought out, it laid off 50 people that went other places, and now all those other places or other people who went to them places started calling my brand. It's like, hey, remember me? It's Jim. What's up, Jim? I'm over at IBM now. We need training videos. Remember those videos you shot when I was working for Dell? Yeah, we need something similar to that. Cool, I'll be right over there, Jim. Those are the type of referrals you want. You don't want referrals from family and friends. 
that's not going to help you. Now, there are some of you who are like, well, what if they got a few dollars? I'm not just gonna turn it down. Once you become the cheap guy, you can't recover from becoming the cheap guy. When people get hookups, it's two types of referrals. It's hookup referral, it's I really got a dope product. You either told somebody about something because it was cheap or because it was good. And if people are sharing the fact that you do videos because you're a little good and a lot of cheap, that's not the business you want. You will not make enough money to move forward. You will not make enough money to go get the new cameras and thousand dollar lenses that come out. If you're in business and you can't afford that stuff, you're doing it wrong. You wanna be referred because you're really good. You want people to say he's pricey, but he's really good. When you think of a Mercedes, you think it's expensive, but it's really good. When you think of a Kia, you think that it's good, but it's cheap and you get something really good for a really cheap price. You don't want to set your brand up to be that. You can never recover from being the cheap guy. Hyundai can never make a really expensive car that people are like, yeah, I'll spend $200,000 on a Hyundai. It is nothing that they can do about it. They can't do anything about it. They can try to ease it up and hope people are gonna say it's a Hyundai though. They can literally get a Bentley, put a Hyundai logo on it, resell it, and people will be like, it's a Hyundai. Meanwhile, Porsche can put out a $30,000 car that sells like hotcakes that's trash. Mercedes-Benz did it all the time. You ever seen like their C31 or like the C series? It's not always the best, and when you compare it to like a Cadillac or anything close, everything kills it, but they're the expensive guys, and their logo makes people feel like, oh, let's go, let's buy it, let's fork out all of this money for a Ford Taurus with the Mercedes-Benz logo on it. Clothing companies do it all the time. They slap a big Louis Vuitton logo on a t-shirt and dummy spend $300 for it. Dummy spend $200 for some tiles that say Louis Vuitton or luggage and all they're doing is going to some old no-name luggage company and they're like, look, we wanna license your luggage with our Louis Vuitton stuff on it. You're making $20 a bag, we're gonna make $2,000 a bag. And this company is like, okay. And dummies run out and be like, oh, it's Louis Vuitton though. So don't, don't get caught up in being the cheap guy. Don't get caught up in referrals and support from your family. As you blow up and you do big things, they will support you the best way they can. But I'm not from a lot of money. And a lot of you probably aren't from situations with a lot of money. So unless you have support from family members who are in corporate America and executive positions and decision-making positions where they can refer businesses who have budgets or people who have budgets themselves, it's not all that cracked up to go after your family for support. Really anything other than moral support. So don't set yourself up for that mentally. Will in your expectations on what you should expect from your family. The fact that they're okay with what you do, the fact that they pat you on the back and tell you that I'm proud of you is all I need to be successful. Don't get mad at your family because they're not doing what you think they should do. They're not your ideal customer or client or referral. All right, got it? Good. If you learn something from this, I'm sure some of you have. I know a lot of you watch videos and don't rarely subscribe. I am asking that you hit that subscribe button. I am asking that you hit that thumbs up button. I am also asking that if you have questions, you comment below because guess what? I My channel is at the point where I still can answer a whole lot of comments and questions and I enjoy it. It motivates me. So please go down in that comment section and speak your mind. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Follow us on Instagram at Flash Film Academy and join our Facebook group where we have conversations like this all the time. And it's growing and we're having more. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.